Fetty Women will not allow to get ready They know how I bomb it to everything Daddy and shot to the eye Now he lookin' like Fetty Bitch, I be geekin' up all over Shorty or daddy, she don't give a fuck She be freaking, she shakin' her butt And that boy is a cheater the way that he won Yes guys, Lil JR here and welcome back to another episode of the Lil JR Player Career Mode. In the last episode, we had a double header of a Manchester derby in which we both won home and away, putting us through to the next round of the Carabao Cup and also a good lead in the title. But if you do enjoy this video and the series in general, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what videos you want to see from me next. And to start things off this episode, we have a game against Arsenal. To be honest, when we play Arsenal, it's actually always a struggle for some reason these guys just love to beat us i wish they could do this in real life though because i mean I, i'm literally an arsenal fan by the way but like it's just so annoying every time playing these guys on fifa and then they just cook us every time but yeah as you can see fitness is all right we're all good the team is looking good tamori's back from injury so let's go into this game and let's hopefully finally beat arsenal feels so weird to say that by the way all right man city against Arsenal at the Etihad Stadium. This is a big game. This is a huge game. This is a huge game. Arsenal on 25 points whilst we're on 29. So you know what? This is actually a massive game. You know, we need to, we need to close our gap in the title. We're going to try, we're going to try, actually, no, we're going to, we're going to do successful dribbles and <sighs> the game knows what it's doing. It's just so, oh! Okay, it's fine. They they, they just want to they just want to ruin the camera angle every single time. But hey, it's fine. Let's get let's get into this game. There we go. Come on, come on. Lil Jr. running through, running through. Lil Jr. Can he finish? Eesh. That was a bit of a dead finish. I was a meaty finish to be honest. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got finish now. There we go. One goal. To make it 1-0, Lil JR scores in front of the Man City fans. Let's go. Come on, that's easy. Right, we needed to make sure. Listen, this time, we're actually going to be Arsenal. Because for some reason, we never beat them. But now, but now, we're not here to mess about and all that stuff. We're actually going to be Arsenal for once. That sounds like such a weird sentence, honestly. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Good goal by Lil JR. Yeah, we just, please, let's, let's just make this quick. Oh no, that was so bad. Uh, One more. Oh no way. Oh no, and Davies is literally free. So like, oh, there's a massive gap now. Alright, Davies, you best catch up. You best catch up, boy. That's Dave. Nah, nah, let me not call him boy again. That's crazy. There we go. Big free ball. Oh, no way. I thought I was going to get the assist there. To be fair, that would have been a cold assist. Oh, Davies. Okay. We'll run through, JR. There we go. Little JR. Run. Bro. What is going on this episode? Oh, Arsenal playing good football here. They actually are. Oh, my days. No, 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 no. Bro. Ah, uh -uh. no way. I just can't. I saw that happen. Oh, why? Why are you just not tied to your mat? Like, Tomori. Tomori. Oh, my gosh. And Edison should realistically be saving that. Oh, let's be honest. Let's be frank. Let's be Lampard, man. Oh, my days. I can't be asked. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I kind of saw it coming, but hey, this is why we take our chances, man. Gosh, thank you. There we go. There we go. Now nah, we got back now. There we go. Look at that. That's much better. And I'm going to do the Homer Simpson thing. Why not? Yeah, nah, man. That's exactly what we needed to do because what was going on? Like, literally, I have no idea what. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, man. Like, oh, Matt Turner. <laughs> but yeah, man. That's all we needed to do. We just needed to go through and, like, literally just actually bag because i don't even know what was going on like every time i went one-on-one -on -one, the keep the defenders would have catch up or i would just mess up the shot so yeah i'm glad i'm glad i scored don't concede before half time why is there a massive gap what are you doing stop 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 clear 
there we go okay half time um yeah i mean not the best half but like i'll take it though like it's not i mean we're not losing so i'll, I'll happily take that we, like i said we normally lose against arsenal so i'm actually very very happy that we haven't you know it's actually nice that we haven't um so but yeah we need to continue like i've not even got the successful dribbles like that's poor like normally successful dribbles is something i'm guaranteed to get so now nah, we need we need to cook the second half asap and we need to make sure we close out this game and win let's go come on there we go <gasps> okay you got it back to me this one and again and again okay never mind Never mind. Our next fixture is against Leicester. That is death for getting simulated, I'll be honest. Okay, we're Finish. <gasps> that would have been a really nice team goal, you know. Oh. <laughs> Go on. Rodri. Hey! Uh. Little JR. Are you serious? So you swear that hasn't gone in. DJ Power shot, because why not? <gasps> nah, that's that's actually not fair. That's actually so unfair. What the hell? Oh, bro, again? Bro, but I hit the bar first, and now I hit the post. Great. Not again. Look, just chill. Just chill. Ooh, not offside. Not offside. Oh, shut up. It's not offside, linesman. I swear. Look, I see you in the corner. I'll bang you in your face. Valverde is coming off for Erling Haaland. My boss. My boss. Come on. That's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. But I can't believe, like, we hit the post, like, twice. There we go. Oh, run. Use your pace, JR. Ooh, okay. Okay, I didn't... I, I'm T. I wasn't familiar with your game. My bad. Yeah, and again. One more. One more. Ugh. Yeah, one more. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I really wanted to just play it, to play it to Gavin Birch, but nah, they just didn't. They just didn't let me. Oh, bro, no, 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 no. This game has been like, it's been like semi boring, but like I'm just glad we're winning. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. No, don't. Oh my gosh, what a save! What a save! <laughs> oh my gosh, what a save! Bro, I'm so glad he saved that. Serious counter. We need a serious counter. There we go. Oh my gosh, Foden, 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 hold the ball, hold the ball. Oh my gosh, no, I'm so done. I'm fighting, I'm seriously scrapping people. Okay, the, the, the thing is, I don't think they'll score. I don't think they'll score, so I think I'll be all right. I think I'll survive. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right, uh, full time, 2-1 win, a very scrappy win, to be honest. Yeah, we, we got off a bit lucky, but I'll take the win. Listen, that's our first win against Man City in uh, not Man City bro I'm so used to Arsenal that's our first win against Arsenal in a, in a since like last season because we just didn't beat them at all yeah I got my match objectives and everything so I'm very very happy with that yeah I've got everything so you know plus 25 uh on the manager rating I'm very very happy with that victory in the derby I'm very very happy listen we're gonna stay humble though we're gonna stay humble because we know how Arsenal can bite back what what's what's things what are things saying shopping wise like is there like anything anything to invest in like money doesn't really matter this season but like i, I don't mind i still need to buy that luxurious yacht we'll, we'll, we'll soon have money for the luxurious yacht at the same time i want to i want to invest in renewable energy you know i want to do good to the world but now we've got a game against leicester which i think i'm going to simulate so i'll be back to you when i finish the simulation it is now time for our game against leicester city at the king power our stadium and things don't start off too well as Telemans puts Leicester City 1-0 up but never fear because Lil JR is here to square the game and make it 1-0 but he says nah one ain't enough and he goes and bags again to make it 2-1 and the series decides to reply back with a cold finish to make it 2-0 but KDB replies with a weak footed screamer off the post to bring us back into the game a quick counter attack from a corner helps me set up Foden to kill the game off and against all the odds Zaniolo gets himself on the score sheet and yes I'm saying against all the odds because this guy sucks and the game finishes 5-2 at home to Bournemouth now and we end up winning the game 2-1 last screw stage game of the champions league now against rangers and we end up battering them 4-0 but then the player of the year was announced we won the ballon d'or we won the ballon d'or finally finally we won the ballon d'or as we should have for so long oh my gosh thank 
God. Me and Bappe and Valverde and Foden were all nominated for it. Oh, you don't understand. Bro, this is... Oh. 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 I might as well cry. I might as well cry. It's serious crying. Serious tears. I could not give a dash. I could not give a dash. I could end the career mode. Now nah, nah, I'm joking. I'm not. But I can't believe we actually won the Ballon d'Or. We actually won. You know what? As we should, we should have won it at Bayern. We should have won it at Bayern. Especially at Bayern. He's crazy. It's so deserved. It's so deserved. Like literally fight me, bro. It's so deserved, bro. It's so deserved. I just can't believe it. It's finally happened. It's finally happened. And you know what? It's beautiful. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. <sighs> well, continue this game against West Ham now, and we end up beating West Ham 3-1. Champions League draw time, and you wouldn't believe it, because in the round of 16, we are playing Bayern Munich. An awkward run for Lil JR as he plays his old club for the very first time. And we swiftly move on to a home game against Newcastle in which we win 2-0. Next was a home game to Wolves. Shout out Yuri once. And things start off well as Lil JR gets the first goal of the game to make it 1-0. Shortly after Lil JR makes a massive breakaway and makes it 2-0 with a simple tidy finish. And then again breaks away and hits a lovely left-footed goal to complete his hat-trick and he had to thank god for that one and just like that the game is over and we somehow draw free all i swear it's so and after that ridiculous draw it was now time for our carabao cup game against arsenal all right so now it is the quarter final of the carabao cup against arsenal i mean like i said before arsenal are a tough team to face so hopefully we come out with a win. After only scraping a 2-1 win against them, this game could be tough. You never know. Massive game at the Emirates as well. It was literally like last episode as well. This is crazy. Quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. We're trying to win everything. We're trying to win the quadruple. Now that obviously City have a Ballon d'Or winner. Ah, huh? yeah, yeah. I'm actually two guys. Do attacking passes and we're going to win this game. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Official Ballon d'Or winner in that, yeah? Oh, no, I'm actually so happy, though. I'm actually so happy. It's, this is long overdue. Long, long overdue. Hey! Is that not a foul? <laughs> That's true. Oh, my gosh. Right there. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful play. Oh, that was beautiful play from Manchester City to make it 1-0 with Lil JR. Absolutely bagging early into the game very very happy against a tough arsenal side what team play that was you know holding off that main pass to me i could have even sweated it back to grab birch but i just saw i was like nah i'm in front of goal i'm not taking any risks and i've just bagged against matt turner very very happy with that goal and yeah what a, what a start one nil already come on that's the kind of start we needed against a team like arsenal man this is huge come on Beautiful. Look at the play. Keep that up. Keep that up. Oh my gosh. One more. Oh my gosh. The football is absolutely incredible. KDB to make it 2 0. Absolutely. Bro, this is this is incredible. This is this is this. This is what I've been. Look at the, all the City fans doing the Poznan. Oh, bro. This is elite. Play. Look at it. It's just simple football. Finding the gaps. Playing slowly, built slow build up, and it's just beautiful. KB will a first time volley. Yeah, nah, incredible, incredible teamwork goal. Pep couldn't be happier, man. This is the Pep football that we've been looking for, man. Maybe make a Oh, no, or Foden. There we go. Look at that. Keep going. Is it a free kick? Is it a free? Oh, no, it's offside. Okay, I got I got a bit too excited the fact that it would be a free kick. Oh, down, Junior. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get some, bro. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get some. There we go, head it down to KDP. Oh, it's a great assist. And it's 3 0. It's looking very, very dominant now. This is incredible scenes. Incredible scenes. Honestly, we are doing so, so well now. This is looking like an, a walk in the park. This is not the Arsenal I'm used to playing. I'm not even going to lie. But wow, two goals by KDP. Two pretty pretty good finishes as well and yeah it's looking like a very very dominant performance for half time free deal honestly you can't complain here this has been a very free no up we could probably could get some more goals but 
as of now, I can't really complain. Like, we're just doing really, really well. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be a tough game, but as of now, it's 3 0. I mean, you never know, Arsenal could make a comeback, but yeah, things are just looking so good at the moment. And like, yeah, first game is a Ballon d'Or winner. First. <laughs> nice. Oh, Foden, you have to bag. You have to bag. Kill the game off. It's 4 0 now. Incredible scenes from Phil. Look, look at that. Look at that. We are incredible. We are simply, simply incredible. What I love to see. 4 0 away from home against Arsenal. Well, in real life, I'd probably be crying right now. But, like, you know, in the career mode, I'm very, very happy. And yeah. It's it's great to see. It's absolutely great to see. As as Pep makes a change for Valverde for Musa Diaby, I am also going to come off also. And I am probably going to be replaced by Mr. Main Man, Erlen Haaland. Yeah, I'll take it. A 9.0. Uh, got a goal, got an assist. You can't really complain. It is a really, really good performance. And uh, yeah, I mean, it ends up win with being 5-0. Uh, sorry, it ends up being 5-1 with Foden scoring another and Traore scoring for Arsenal but not enough and obviously we battered them in the Carabao Cup. Very, very happy result. We could end up playing Liverpool, Newcastle. I'm, I'm just making uh, predictions, but we could also play Everton, which is because they've actually already been Aston Villa. Man City can count on Lil JR. Of course they can, of course. Winning the stage of the tournament. Listen, we're going to praise the team spirit. We did very, very well and we did in yeah, we, we played incredibly. Our next important game is Everton in the Carabao Cup semi-final. But to be honest, I'm gonna keep the camera on for the simulation this time. Alright, we're simming against we're simming against Fulham. We should surely win against Fulham easily. All day. Every day. See? All good. All good. All good. They made it all. Oh, midfielder shortlist. They've put Odegaard, my CDM. <laughs> They've got Odegaard, KDB, and Rodri and Frankie De Jong. To be fair, this is a semi-important game because last time I drew three all to Brighton for some reason. But I'm still going to simulate it anyway. So... Um, why? What? Okay, so I've... <laughs> I'm honestly just going to simulate this game against Brighton. We're playing against Koza. Hey, they got some B-Tech Corey, you know. That's crazy. Can we actually win? Of course we win. Bro, I was so worried for what reason. But easy game. I've literally got the man of the match award and you're minusing... Not Bro, that means I played well. I literally scored as well. Ah, oh, Pep, I really need a bang in your face sometimes, man. Because you're forcing me to play games so my thingy doesn't go down. And Premier League December, player of the month shortlist. Obviously, Lil JR's there because why wouldn't he be? Oh, yeah, it's a January transfer window. Oh, interesting, interesting. And now it's a, another game against Everton. Are we going to win? But it's just before the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. <laughs> yes, we are. And I score another. And I swear, Pep, if if there's a single bad rating. Oh, Pep. I, I literally I literally have the man of the match. I literally have it. Literally, you're going to make me compete on the bench. Because <sighs> I'm serious. Nah, Pep has serious blood on his hands. We are now advanced to the Carabao Cup game against Everton. Why is Haaland the main man that... Bro, he don't even start games no more. But we simulate trading, make sure Pep, you know, likes us a bit because just in case you stick up the gap, but we shouldn't because we've now got a game against Everton. We should win this realistically if we're being honest with ourselves, just so there's not any kind of sort of kick clash at, at all whatsoever. We got a game against Everton. We should be winning this. Dominic Sabozlai. Fez. Carrasco. Fez. Akanji. Fez. Bro, Everton. Was not familiar with your game. But yeah, we play this game against Everton. We should, we should really hopefully cook. But this is a semi-final as well. So there's going to be a second leg. Do I really want to play a second leg? Not really, but I, 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 it's, it's going to have to happen, isn't it? At Goodison Park. What, what a stadium, man. What stadium? What a historic stadium, to be fair. You got to respect Goodison. Look at that. Garvadio coming out and gloves. And we, got, we get four shots on target. And we win this game. Let's go. Come on. Easy game for us. Honestly. This is just this is just written, written in the stars now. Like we have to actually win everything because it's the way to you know end off the Lil JR player career mode. Like I don't even care if we. To be honest, it's not really. Oh, Lil JR's for a goal. 
Bro, don't get distracted, bro. Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah, I win the header. No, I win the header again. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I'm winning the third header. Yeah, there you go. I'm chilling, man. I win headers all day. Uh, I'll put it on anyway. I don't. I really don't care. KDB. Oh, what a free ball through the legs of Ben Godfrey, and it's one nil. Uh, no, it's actually a catch. One nil to Manchester City in the Carabao Cup semi-final. Listen, I thought this was gonna be an easy result either way. It was gonna be light work, and yeah, like we should always, we should always kick Everton. This is not, this is not a surprise, but it's a semi-final of a competition. So I thought, you know what, it, it would be, it would be nice to you know play this. KDB's got five goals in four matches in the Carabao Cup. Fair play. He's actually matching in goals with me. Yeah, bro. Is cooking. I can't lie. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant play. Oof, I want it. Yikes. No, keep that ball on the pitch. If you don't, then there's going to be issues. Oh. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Wait, how did that goal even go in? But we take those. Lil JR scores the goal. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Either way, it's 2-0. I don't know. That was such a scrappy goal. Kind of really didn't make any sense. And uh, yeah, Kiefer should realistically be saving that. I don't even know how you're not saving that, but it's fine. It's fine. It was just a bit too hard for him. Frankie Lampard is not happy at all. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I did expect ourselves to win this game. I mean, it is Everton, but at the same time, but at the same time, yeah, it, it's an important game. And you never know, Everton could... I don't think Everton are gonna, gonna go through a score at any point. Oh no! Oh, I thought that would have been really nice. Okay. Oh, it's nice. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Cut aside. <laughs> yes. Easy. It's just too easy. Honestly, Lil Jr. Yeah, again. Bags. It's it's not it's not a surprise. It's not a mystery on how it's happened. Like we this has been what it's been four years of absolute consistency in goal scoring. And yeah, like you can score any type of goal. It doesn't matter where or when or how. Lil Jr. just constantly bags. It just happens. Like it's it's it doesn't matter. But brilliant goal. Three 0 At this rate, I might simulate and then even play another game. Because I can't lie, this this game is way too easy. I kind of want to end off on a on a difficult game, you know. Maybe a first leg. Yikes! Okay, listen, I'm so. He shot me up so quick. <laughs> That's it. He shot me up so quick. He shot me up. He shot me right up. He just shot me up. He was like, Junior, shut the hell up. You are not that guy. I, I, I'm actually lost for words because I, I was literally talking about how this game could be too easy. And then he just goes and scores on my head. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And now Everton actually, they're kind of building momentum. This is not very... Bro. Wait, who's in the middle? Yo! I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Nah. Counter. Nah. I admit, no, I was I wasn't wrong. I was so right. Listen, give me Yeah, play me now. Play me now. There we go. There we go. Look at this. This is what I mean. There's levels to this game. Even when you score one, Lil JR will score another. That is just how it is. Okay? It's light work to him. It doesn't matter if you score. There's no pressure. Lil JR will always still back. And that is his hat trick, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is his hat trick. So very, very happy with that. And uh yeah, yeah, nah, I'm simulating the game. I'm sorry, but it's not it's not a difficult game. I thought it would, would be difficult, but it's not. It's not. And Hurling Harlan comes on as I come off. Listen, we gotta save energy, especially for the games that are coming up. Soon come Champions League games. I'm gonna I'm gonna this episode is gonna be longer than I thought. Fairs. Lil JR is no longer on the field. And uh yeah. Oh my gosh, they actually nearly caught up. They actually nearly caught up. Yikes. Hey, either way, we got the win. We got the match ball. We got everything. You can't complain. We can't. You can't complain. They're winning the stage of the tournament. Listen, we've got to praise the team spirit because, yeah, like we we just we just did very very well. And now we've got the first round of the FA Cup against Arsenal. 
Why is it against teams that we always play against, though? That's the thing. And the attacker shortlist, the forward shortlist for the team of the year, Blaovic. Wait, that makes no sense. Hold on, because wait, that actually makes no sense because the the shortlist for the Ballon d'Or was me, Valverde. Wait, no, 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 no. That actually seriously makes no sense. Yeah, that seriously makes no sense. So the shortlist for the Ballon d'Or was me, Valverde, Foden, and uh, Mbappe. And now it's now for the forwards team of the year. It's me, Nunez, Mbappe, and Vlaovic. Are you are you seeing how that's not making any sense? Huh? I'm just. You know what? Nah, I can't complain, but... Huh? I'm honestly so tempted to simulate this game against Arsenal, even though it's an FA Cup game, and I don't want to I don't want to lose. Do I have enough faith in my team? Do I have enough faith in my team? That is the big question. You know what? I have faith in my team. I feel like it's the round of 30... It's, it's the round of 64. There's no way you lose. There's no way you lose. There's no way you lose. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, you only won 1 0 and Lil JL scores. I can't lie, if they give me a down rate for that, we, I literally scored the win. Is this nigga serious? Pep, 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 Pep. Listen, you caramel limited edition bald Malteser. I, I promise you things won't end well. Stop putting down my rating because now I. <laughs> oh! Stop sort of killing me, Pep. Pep, you're killing me. To be honest, I have no idea when the next important game is. It's looking like Bayern is the next important game. And honestly, I'm ready to simulate until then. So, on to the simulation. Team of the year was finally announced with Edison in goal, Theo Hernandez, Diaz, Tamori, and Davies making the team, as well as De Jong, De Bruyne, and Rodri, and Kimmich with me and Mbappe up top. It is January, so the transfer window is open and we end up signing Vitinha from PSG. A quick sim match against the Irons, a game that we should be able to win and we do win by winning 4-1. And Pep put my rating down yet again, the Barle. An away game against Bournemouth and we decided to make it double as we won 4-1 yet again. Now it's time for an FA Cup tie against Stoke City away from home. Should be an easy win. And we only win 2-1, which is fair enough. Big up Stoke. Home game against Everton, the second leg of the Carabao Cup. Can we secure the win and secure the final? And we do with a two-all draw. A two-all draw is enough to put us through to the final. And we're playing Liverpool again. An away fixture to Wolves now. And I swear, if it rigs another draw or a loss, I'm ending the entire season. But things look promising as Lil JR goes and scores early into the game in the 24th minute to make it 1-0. Lil JR on another breakaway, he outpaces the players and shoots into the bottom right corner to make it 2-0. We'll score another and I can feel another draw or loss coming. Lil JR goes through but misses and it's a lost ball but the full time whistle's blown but we win. It's all good. It's actually not rigged this time. Great. It is deadline day and we end up signing Usman Dembele from Spurs for 79 million euros which is insane and if you thought the madness was gonna end there my former teammate Matthias De Ligt is rumored to join from Bayern Munich my former club to Man City to be my teammate in which he does for 98 million what a mad transfer to happen especially before a round of 16 game I decided to simulate through the calendar and we end up drawing two all against Newcastle and now we have a home game against Fulham in the snow snowy conditions do not stop Lil Jar as in the seventh minute he goes through and scores to make it one nil penalty for Lil Jr. can he score it of course he does. Like, I mean, he has eyes in his veins. He's just him. Fulham do get one back, but a lovely turn by Lil JR makes it 3-1. And it looks like the game could potentially be killed off here. A corner whipped in by De Bruyne and a lovely looping header by Lil JR makes it 4-1. And that is game over, surely. And it was with the game ending 4-2 and Lil JR grabbing four goals absolute masterclass but now the moment we've all been waiting for it is now 
the Champions League knockout stage. But I'm going to leave that for another episode in the future. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We have finally won the Ballon d'Or. It feels like, you know that time where Leonardo DiCaprio finally won the Oscar? That, that's how it feels for me, man. I can be at hashtag King has been finally crowned for finally winning the Ballon d'Or. Don't forget to check out my socials, like my Instagram, my Twitch, my TikTok, and my Twitter. And don't forget to join the Lil Jar Nation Discord server as well. Have a blessed day, you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Good. Bye.